I like to have my seatbelt on because it makes me feel secure. Hello, 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 y'all. The smell, he's ready to eat. The smell of this. Mm. This is rolled <laughs> ice cream. It's very cold. I'm shocked. And if you saw my vlog, you will have seen this made in time lapse. This is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Why didn't Look I get that. whipped cream? Just, Can I have a little of your whipped cream? No. Smile. That'll do. No, because you said you don't like fruity pebbles. And they're covered in fruity pebbles. So what's the difference between this Dolce Nitrogen? Huh? They're opening up a place that's literally going to do the exact same thing. Mmm. Mmm. Curl de creme. I got vanilla ice cream with fruity pebbles mixed in. Strawberry sauce, whipped cream, and more fruity pebbles. You know what's really... F I got... Vanilla ice cream mixed in with Oreo and peanut butter. Then I got peanut butter sauce, Reese's cups, and sprinkles. Mm. And I'm done. That's me with ice cream. One bite, and I'm all set. Not me. That is so good. Mm. Every ice cream except Talenti. Mm. Calories, calories. I don't trust somebody who does their own hair. I don't think it's natural. Should I get a tattoo? Yeah. Do you really want some whipped cream? It's got fruity pebbles all over it. Mm. <laughs> Ever been to Goats on the Roof? No, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Please tell them what the lady called me. The cops. You mean after he demanded to be called Beyonce? No, okay, cup? demanded is the wrong word. <laughs> I'll reenact it. You be me, I'll be the lady. Next. Name? Beyonce. <laughs> I don't know that it was that jovial. Oh, what? <laughs> Beyonce. That's what she did. <laughs> But then I told her my real name. But then... Tony with an I. It's Tony with a Y, not Tony with an I. Because Tony with an I is a girl, not a guy. What's that song sound like? Liza Minioli. No, but it's Liza, and that's my hair. <laughs> but then what did they say? What did they call me later on? When she Mrs. said, Tony... No Mrs. Knowles. <laughs> Or just Tony Knowles. Mm -hmm. Tony Knowles is an awful name. What about the chocolate monkey? We could have went there. No worse than it. Matthew Knowles, and we all know why I said that. I don't know who that is. That's her father. What did he do? He's not a good guy. His why? I don't even. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. What is that big creepy barn? I'm trying to practice my mukbang eating skills. Ready? Like mm. that, you see? That's what ASMR you mean. Mm. I am still... Oh. I know. I am still so... Are they so making tribute videos? ...sad about sassy snacks. I'm serious. I am legitimately so sad over that. How old was she? Early 40s. I go to bed with her videos every single night. Still, I watch the same ones every night. Like the haggish? It, uh, some, oh, I just love her. The faux fat. What happened? I don't want to bring down the audience. Well, has anybody said what happened? Yeah, her sister updated everyone the whole time. I'd like to know. It's very sad. I'll show you later. Mmm. Damn. There's Publix key lime pie in the back. This is for my I need a little heat. Just lost somebody. Can I? The best friend that baby. Would you like your seat warmer on, Mrs. No, Knowles? I wouldn't. I said, "Hey, Miss Carter." I said, "Hey, Miss Carter." Miss. 
from Drive a roll up the partition, please Boom, 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 boom That's Beyonce, I don't know Are you happy to be in Paris? That's the last Beyonce I really listen to I feel really guilty when I tell people that Cause she's an icon, but I just I don't really dig her as much anymore. But then the reason the reason I was saying Beyonce and Mrs. Knowles and all that is because they had a Beyonce playlist on in the store, and it was all the old Beyonce, the old school college high school stuff. And I was like, I knew every word. I loved her. B Day, that second album. Oh my god, that was freshman year of college. I wonder, like, when that first when her first album came out, if people were like, oh look at her trying to be solo, kind of like Justin Timberlake. I don't even remember at the time. I was too young. Mm. All the vapor shops. Is that even a thing? Mm-hmm. My hat, y'all. It's real trickery Let today. Me Kate. What's your favorite Beyonce song, everybody? Mine's probably still irreplaceable. Mine's listening. That stands in a world all of its own. We could watch that tonight. I'm looking for something, baby. <laughs> I want to watch. Bum. I should have brought it. Bum. Ba -dum. <laughs> ba -da -dum. I would like to watch a scary movie. Is anybody watching Fosse Verdon? It's really good. Is that a show? Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm swishing my ice cream around in my mouth. Bob Fosse was the original like choreographer for Chicago. Cold, cold, cold. And he's famous for doing like the arched hands, tip of the hat, knees, like that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And he had a girlfriend named Gwen Verdon who was a famous Broadway actress. Or I think she was. Oh. What was that? <laughs> it was a Reese's cup. I'll get it later. Up. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Drive a roll up the partition, please. And they made a series out of it. I want to look that up before we leave. Dolce Nitrogen Ice Cream. You think it's going to be a direct competition to the Curl de mm -hmm. la Creme? In the same shopping mall? Why would you complex? ever do that? I bet it's not, though. That has to be something else. Liquid Nitrogen Ice Cream? Yeah, but what does that mean? I don't know. Dry Ice Ice Cream? Mm. This ice cream's really good. Diet starts tomorrow. But the whole stick of that restaurant is that you watch it be done like that. Hmm. I'm not eating for me, I'm eating for me and the baby. It's so cold today. It's mm. May. Well, it's April 20th. My cabin better be warmer when we get back. I wanna watch a scary movie. I'm so whiny today, slash, all the time. But, I would like to watch a good scary movie. Who has one? Netflix, Hulu, Prime. It's hard for me to find. I feel like Netflix is a place to go to look for movies. Hulu doesn't really have a lot of movies. I don't feel like. Do you? No. Do you even watch Hulu? Mm-hmm. I use it every week. But I use it to watch the shows that are already on. I don't watch their stuff. What about CBS All Access? Is that just me? I don't need that because <laughs> Bold and the Beautiful airs for free online. I wonder why. You have it for Survivor. And the yeah, but why do they do that show? I think they just want people to watch it, period. Are there ads? Mm-hmm. You watch it every day on the laptop? No, on my phone. Oh. Except on the days I'm home from work. And then at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know where I'll be. And it's only 30 minutes. I can appreciate that. Right? You should watch it. I can catch you up in about 10 seconds. For what, the past 15 years? 30. I've been watching for 10. Almost 10. As much as I love the old Wentworth soap opera, I probably would like it. And I probably would be able to catch up quickly. What? Right? With any, with that soap. With soap operas, mm -hmm. you can catch up very quickly. You just need someone to like say, here's whose brother, here's whose cousin, here's who used to be married, you know? And the thing about soap operas is, every couple of episodes, because they've stretched the story out for so long and people just kind of watch when they can, 
every couple of episodes, there's a scene with two people basically speaking in exposition. Like explaining. Yeah. It's like, so you and I would be in the car. And there's also one restaurant in all of Los Angeles. <laughs> so we're having dinner in the car. We're having dinner at the Italian restaurant. Ooh, Very good can't. lighting, just, right? Mm -hmm. I just can't believe that Hope is the real mother of Phoebe. <laughs> you know, I just can't believe Hope lost her baby and then Steffi adopted the two twins. I know, I can't either. Oh my gosh. And can you believe that that was her cousin? Yeah, that's exactly what I, I mean. You No, it's always done in a way like this. I mean, how are you supposed to know that Flo was potentially going to be your daughter when you already have two others from two different women? Liam and, you know. Is that real? Well, yeah. <laughs> that's what, literally, Great. I just watched an episode like that the other day. She was like, I mean, I know it's freaking you out that you just found out that Flo is your biological cousin by marriage. <laughs> or And you're like... Oh, good. This is for the people who watch once a month. Well, it's good to catch them up. There's a participant in, oh. one of, in the weight loss program that I teach <laughs> as I eat this. Does she watch her stories? She does. All of them? Um, she watches... Dej. Maybe. I watch an hour every day. Mm -hmm. Every day for an hour. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that happens on soap operas. What kind of these schedules are these people on? And do characters just like not get storylines while they're yeah. like off work? Yeah. I mean, it comes and goes. So you'll have a character are like, like, Tony, but you're the, back from Wisconsin. Yes. No, actually, that's literally what happened. That's what happens. So here it is. Here's Sally Spectra. She walks in the room. I've got to go to, I've got to go. I'm going to go visit my grandma. I'll be gone for a while. Then she doesn't show up for three weeks. And you're like, oh, what project did she have to go work on? But are there people that are on there every day? I mean, the thing is, here's a soap opera. You get like a cast of like 20 people and they rotate them in and out throughout the whole week. So you've got it. You've got usually got about two or three different storylines at a time. And they're not, they can't be making that much. I don't know. Soaps are kind of a dying breed. What? A so I think these people are probably happy. an episode? Probably more than that. <laughs> Well, they go on contract. And then what ends up happening with soap operas that's so funny is that... So someone... They'll die on one and then be brought on as a different character on another one. So all these actors do is just jump from soap opera to soap opera. Because once you know how to work like that, I think you just... Well, does that work? Their one... schedule is insane. They do... They shoot like 80 pages a day. And then those 80 pages get split up Imagine throughout memorize the those lines. Overnight. That would be kind of hard. My, I, it's hot in here now. Maybe just a little. Here. Put it. Combine. Dang. What about that one really weird looking girl that's in your favorite? Oh, Quinn? Is she... <laughs> she can't go anywhere else. Quinn came back this week. But isn't... But I'm saying, like, that's like her soap opera. Like, she's like the, one of the tent poles. But she had been on other stuff before that. Oh. Her name is Rena Sofer. Picture down below. No, there's not. I always like to, I do it to my mother too. I'm gonna start driving, but continue. Every time I watch, I'm home watching my show, soap opera, oh, I will send him and I will send my mother a picture of like the same actress every day. And it's always her being like. Her name is Quinn and Quinn is a crazy psycho. So every time you see her, she's like, remember when I was living with you? And the big storyline was her, was she had kidnapped that <laughs> yes. guy? She How had, long did that last? <laughs> that last? Well, that's the thing about soap operas, too, is and that... And now are they friends? Now they're reluctant friends. That's oh. what happens. But these storylines last, like, four or five months. So that... Yeah, well, I've experienced that going back to Because they can't... The if they tried Whitworth, to tell a new story right. every couple days... And some of them... And is this <laughs> like this with all the soap operas? Because Wentworth will be really good for a while, and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so over And X, then it's X, all X filler. Yes, and then it's all filler for days. And then that storyline just randomly vanishes. That's why a lot of people just watch Monday or Fridays. Like right now, the whole thing is they're building like a halfway house, and it's so boring. And I'm like, I can't wait for that to be That's over. what happens. It's always some kind of story like that. Wow, this traffic is bad today. Where do I need to go? Should I already go in and get on veterans? Do you have anything else you needed to do? Uh -uh. Oh, then get on the left. Country Music USA. Why is your safety restraint not on? We weren't driving. Hold on. So, yeah, that's what happens. Like, but then, so then a character will be gone for, like, months. 
and you'll and be like, back. or no, they'll just randomly be written off the show, and then two years later, it's like no time has gone by, and they just come back on, usually with a new face. And I don't mean a new actor, I mean they've got a little stuff shot into well, it. something then to him. A little Lisa Rinna action. So, why was Quinn never arrested for literally kidnapping someone? I believe she did get arrested for a while, but then she was able to get out of it because she killed Hope's father. Oh. I don't know, but then you end up forgetting what happened. Hey, that's my friend Alexis, she's on the side of a truck. Hi Alexis, you'll never watch this, but... Hi Cornelia, how are you, sweetie? Oh my god. Turn. Uh... At the Walgreens. Um, Bum. You don't need to get any. Oh, you've already got your stuff for tomorrow. I'm really thirsty. Perfect. I'm thirsty, Tori. Ba -da. But it ain't. Oh, no, 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 no. It really is so. Oh, I want to look at that mm -hmm. nitrogen place. Do not let me forget. Mm -hmm. Nitrogen. What was it called? Mm -hmm. Is this the Walgreens? Yeah. Um. Gosh, what was it called? I'm not going in that Walgreens for nothing. Look how crowded it is. Why would you? I just need water. I'm. It's one of those days. It's very like. Uh, these characters end up arrested, but then they get out of jail real quick. Right now, my story. We're still talking about soap operas. <laughs> but this would be the conversation we'd have if the camera wasn't on. So true. I guess that's what. Right now, the big storyline is that Hope yep. is one of the characters. Hope had a baby. She fell. As, she passed out during delivery. Oh. Her baby was stolen. Oh and replaced with a dead baby. Oh my she god! Thinks, she thinks her daughter is, this happened back in January, it was Wayne Brady was the doctor by the way. Not Yeah, as in The Price is Right, Wayne Brady, doing a little crossover duty. Wayne she thinks Brady. her baby died. Wait a minute, who's The Price is Right, Wayne Brady? Wayne oh, Brady. black Wayne Brady? Mm -hmm. The comic, mm -hmm. okay. He did a little stint as an OBGYN. Isn't that oh. funny, you get these degrees so fast. Um, she thinks her baby's dead, turns out Steffi, the other lady who's had a love triangle with this woman Hope and Liam for as long as I've been watching adopted that baby and doesn't realize she's adopted Hope's baby. <laughs> so now she has two babies. Who stole her? Is she Was she selling the baby? They sold, they adopted the, uh, Steffi uh, bought the baby. Like a legal? Through an adoption. No, legally. But like who initially stole the baby? Wayne Brady. Oh, he stole it. It's mm. not falling. So right now, Hope still doesn't know her baby's dead alive. Do you want to go to the gas station and get a water? I have a cold one in the fridge. What about me? All right, you can. Hmm. And now Denise Richards is on. Completing your life. As It really is. When I found out she was going to be on, I was like, what? My favorite D-lister of all time. She's gonna be like. She's part of my family she's now. Be a consistent. My person. chosen family. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's gonna start having an affair with one of the main characters. She's the mother of the woman who pretended that she was the mother of Hope's baby. <laughs> I wish there was a drive-through. A drive-through grocer. Yeah. Well, so I could get water, not to get I. Because you don't have any water. Your water will s smell bad. No, I have a filter. Well, I don't have any. Yeah, we should get. You can get some bottled water, I'll put it in the fridge. You can drink out of the tab. I'll just grab one. Why didn't I buy anything at Publix? I didn't think. All right, y'all. It's time to wrap this one up. I don't know what this car's doing, but I'm parking right here. What are you going to get? Love you and I mean it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Watch The Bold and the Beautiful. The when the weekdays, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look at this Nini scratch. Cat scratch fever, folks. Cat scratch fever.